Hey guys, it's Grant here. Um, I just thought I would do a quick little um, video on crimping versus soldering uh, op gauge ends. Um, this is a, a traditional, uh, what we'd call like a smash terminal crimper. It's uh, what I've pretty much always been doing. It works real well. I've done a ton of crimps like this and I really haven't had any problem with them. Um, the downside to it is it kind of makes a mess of the terminal. And if you're working like in an engine compartment or something like that, um, it's pretty hard to have a nice solid base to where you need to uh, hammer down and, and uh, create the, uh, the pressure needed to, uh, to smash this thing down. It's, it's pretty archaic, you know, sort of like a guillotine. This thing gets raised up, the crimp gets dropped inside here, and then you just uh, smash down on it and it, uh, it creates a pretty good sized dent in the bottom of the, or the, the top of the, the, um, the crimp here and creates a connection. Um, and also it's pretty inconvenient if you're working inside a boat, you don't want to be uh, putting this uh, on, the, on the fiberglass floor and hammering down. So the other way you can do it is you can, um, you can solder them. And um, this is something that I just started doing. Um, actually, Johnny gave me a cool little tip, and it is to uh, basically this is just a CarQuest uh, crimp here. Um, they're like a couple bucks a piece, and um, they're not uh, they're actually not crimped very well here at the end. So you want to take a pair of vice grips and um, just just kind of smash them or crimp them all all along this this uh, the seam here to seal them. Um, when you actually end up putting this when you actually end up putting the solder in. Um, and then you shove the wire into the terminal, it creates quite a lot of pressure and the solder tends to bleed out around this ring or even when you're just melting it in there, it tends to, uh, to bleed out. So um, I've crimped this to kind of speed up the video and what I do is just hold uh, the crimp inside of vice grips here and then um, I'm using this uh, Rosin Core uh, 4060 solder. This stuff's real, real thick. Um, I've taken my aught gauge end right there and uh, stripped it and it's ready to go uh, insert it in here. I, I fill this crimp up about halfway, so about right here. And by the time I'm done, it's gonna be a flaming volcano mess. So I'll just blow it out and then as quickly as I can um, and methodically just make sure that I get all the ends inside there and you squeeze it in there. Sometimes you'll have a little bit of the solder flow out. Sometimes it'll, it'll go in perfectly, but if it's nice and hot, the solder will actually creep right up the, uh, the wire as you're inserting it. So here we go. Okay, make sure I got it inside there, fed in, hammer it down, and see, it didn't quite go all the way in, so I can put a little bit more. There we go. So, that looks pretty good. Then we'll just take a little bit of a shrink tube here, throw the shrink tube over it. Hit it with the knife. And that appears to be a crimped end. So, or sorry, a soldered end. Okay. Bye-bye.